Hey guys, what is going on? Steven back again. So we got some new rumors about Cyberpunk 2077. Now I have an article here from Segment Next, and the title reads, Cyberpunk 2077 will be four times bigger than The Witcher 3 and its DLCs combined. Now the article continues on saying, Cyberpunk 2077 was announced a few years back and the game is still in development at CD Projekt Red with many claiming that the game will launch in 2018. However, a new rumor is making rounds on the internet suggesting that Cyberpunk 2077 will be four times bigger compared to The Witcher. According to the rumor, Cyberpunk 2077 will be four times bigger compared to The Witcher 3 and all of its DLCs combined. The rumor also suggests that the game will also use The Witcher 3's seasonal system for generating massive scales and will also feature dynamic, destructible areas. That sounds badass. However, given that it is just a rumor, take it as a grain of salt. But it would also explain why CD Projekt Red is taking so long on the project. Uh, as for the destructible environments in Cyberpunk 2077, this is not the first time a rumor has suggested that as a recent job listing for an environmental artist for the game that revealed that the devs are looking for a talented environmental artist who will work with the studio and create destructible models for objects. Now apparently the uh, the job listing read as uh, CD Projekt Red is currently looking for a talented artist to join our environmental art team in Warsaw to work on Cyberpunk 2077. The environmental artist will also create a wide range of photorealistic environments in a futuristic setting, covering also destruction models. Very interesting. Uh, the studio has also revealed that Cyberpunk 2077 will feature different classes. However, those classes will be unconventional. So, very interesting right there. Sounds, uh, sounds impressive. That would be crazy if, um, you know, Cyberpunk 2077 is four times bigger than The Witcher 3. I don't know if that means map-wise or just overall in general. Because, I mean, the map in The Witcher 3 was impressive. There's actually a really badass picture of, um, of the map of The Witcher 3, as you can see here. Um, the map is huge of The Witcher 3, so, I mean, if they are making at least the map or the world of Cyberpunk 2077 four times bigger, then, I mean, you can just imagine how big the game will be. But, again, I don't know if it's just a map or the overall game. Now, um, you know, they say it is coming out, or the rumor is that it could be coming out in 2018, but, um, you know, we have not heard uh, anything about it or any more information about it. We have not even seen, you know, an actual trailer for the game. Uh, now, again, don't forget, I did do a video after E3 talking about how Sony held back titles. Uh, I think I have the uh, article right here. Um, yeah, here we go. PlayStation held back at E3, saving reveals for later this year. And uh, as you can see, if I zoom in here, I don't know if you can still read it or not. Oh, it's bright. Um, Shushi, yeah, I'm probably going to butcher that. Yoshida often off handedly confirmed that Sony has intentionally held back during this year's E3, saving news, uh, saving news for reveals later this year. So now, I mean, PlayStation did hold back at E3. They did not reveal everything they had. As you know, there was no Death Stranding. There was nothing on Red Dead Redemption 2. There was nothing on The Last of Us 2 as well. Uh, now, I don't know if cyberpunk would uh would have announced at sony's press conference or if they had their own i don't remember uh what they did with the witcher 3 i don't know if they had like their own little you know little conference or whatever or if they announced during someone else's press conference so um yeah i don't know if that this could have been one of the games that playstation did held back or hold back on i should say um 
so i mean we will have to wait and see you know the playstation experience is coming in december i think somewhere around the middle to end of december and uh, i'm sure that is when we're going going to see you know red dead redemption 2 possibly death stranding uh the last of us 2 and who knows whatever else they held back on because i will admit um you know the playstation e3 conference was it was good but it was lacking you know i mean it did kind of suck you know there was really nothing coming out you know the only thing that came out was uh uncharted the lost legacy and a patch for horizon zero dawn and that's about it um you know everybody was hoping for last of us 2 death stranding maybe something from red dead redemption 2 but we got none of that um you know so i mean i don't know um i guess we'll have to wait and see like i said i don't know if um cyberpunk would have had their or cd project red would have had their own conference or if they joined with someone else but you know i mean i gotta say i don't know i i don't get e3 anymore i mean e3 used to be this big huge conference where everybody came and everybody showed off like everything they had and now it's kind of like well we're going to show some things but we're having our own press conference later on so we're gonna hold you know certain things back it's it's like i don't get the point anymore of e3 you know this is where everybody comes together and supposedly shows everything they have and you know well we're gonna have our own press conference later on so you know we'll show a couple of things but you know the good stuff the really really good stuff you know we'll hold off for a later date and i don't know but uh, yeah, anyways, back to this. I don't want to be rambling on. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077, possibly four times bigger than The Witcher 3. That would be crazy. I can't wait to hear more about it. Um, again, it is just a rumor, as the site is uh, suggesting. So, I mean, either way, that would be awesome. But I do like the idea of um, dynamic, destructible areas. That sounds awesome. I can't wait to uh, hopefully hear more about that. Um, or actually, I'm just hoping to hear more about the game in general. But uh, anyways, yeah, possibly four times bigger than The Witcher 3. That would be impressive. But anyways, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. Remember, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on social media. Links are in the uh description box below along with a link to this article as well and of course leave me your thoughts and comments what do you guys think are you looking forward to cyberpunk 2077 uh do you think it will be four times bigger than the witcher 3 let me know what you guys think and um yeah stick around more videos are on the way and i will see you guys next time